People are continuing to run away from high tax states. And you probably know what states I'm talking about. We're talking about New York State and California. Consider for a moment that the tax rate in California is up to 13% for the high earners. Now, even if you're just a regular person making 67,000 to 100,000 a year, you're still gonna get taxed between nine and 10%. And in New York, it's not that much better. New York state tax at the high end is 11%. And then if you're just a regular individual, it's between six and 7%. Let's say you have a new job making $100,000 a year. Pretty happy about it. You're in the six figure club, right? And that's becoming increasingly common these days, especially in California. So if you're earning $100,000, go ahead and chop 20% right off the top. That's, that's for federal tax. And then we're left with $80,000 then chop another 10% off for the California tax. You're down to $70,000. And then go ahead and factor in your payroll taxes. That's about 7.5%. So you're down to around $60,000 a year that you actually have in your pocket after everything is said and done. So what are these state taxes used for? A lot of times it's for state programs, state police, state parks, state education. But the state collects more money than just the state taxes a lot of times they'll collect the property tax, depending on the state, depending on your city, they could claim the property tax, they could claim the sales tax. So there's multiple reams of revenue that the state's receiving. And people are just getting tired of seeing so much of their money go into taxes. This is especially true if you are a teleworker, if you work from home, if you can work from your couch, does it matter where the couch is? Does it matter if the couch exists in California? or maybe Nevada or Florida, where you pay no state tax. So people that work remotely and also your entrepreneurs, they're making the decision to relocate out of those high tax states and they're going towards these states that do not have any state income tax. The difference between staying in California and just going a couple of hundred miles away and living in Nevada, that if you make 100,000 a year, that could save you around $10,000. Now, of course, this isn't everybody. One of the main reasons people choose to stay at their location is because of family, right? Maybe your mother or your father, your mother-in-law, they can't move with you, so you don't wanna move or you, you refuse to move. But we have thousands, not just thousands, hundreds of thousands that are deciding to make this move. And right now in this country, there are eight states eight states that do not have any state income tax. If you are a low income earner, then it might not make any sense to move. Oftentimes the states with the high state income tax, they have some of the best or the most robust social programs that can help people that are lower on the economic spectrum. So if you're struggling to make ends meet, if you're relying on government assistance to help you make it to your, through your day to day life, it might be in your best interest to stay in California or to stay in New York State. I've also heard of some people moving to Puerto Rico. You go to Puerto Rico and you do not have to pay federal tax. You do not have to pay state tax. You pay Puerto Rico, I believe it's something like 4%. You earn $100,000 throughout the year, you give Puerto Rico $4,000 and you keep the $96,000. And this has been a big incentive for people that have businesses. They're relocating their businesses, headquartering them in Puerto Rico, and able to keep the majority of their money. I personally do not see states like California or New York lowering their state tax anytime soon. You know, there's a lot of people that live. These two states have some of the highest population counts, and the state, in order for their programs to fit their people, it costs a lot. They need, they need, they want the money and you know, you can make a case to where they need that money. My question to you is would you ever move in order to receive a tax advantage? Let me know down below. Now, if you're watching this and you're looking for a better job, one of the first steps when it comes to job searching is to make sure you have a strong resume. And with the new technology such as chat GPT, a lot of people are using artificial intelligence to strengthen their resume. So I sat down with this program and I wanted to see, hey, can this thing actually make a federal resume? I tried it out recently and if you wanna know the results from that little experiment, I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.